This one's called the fans in the house. The Hampton Bay ceiling fan, the oscillator fan, and the air purifier, for some weird reason, is turned off. You can see the shadow of the ceiling fan right there. That's about the best I can do. I'm sorry about that. I can't show you anything else. I'll show you all the other fans later. Thanks for watching. Fans in the house. Here's his vintage 1987 Hunter. I believe it's a Comfort Breeze ceiling fan. Still going strong. It's been running ever since. And there you go. Of course, we have this 80s air duct to the air conditioner. Modern day baloney stand running. The room cool. And we have the air purifier. It's doing an excellent job over here, the air purifier. And that's about it. And then in the bathroom, of course, we have this one fan in the bathroom. And that's about it. So, so far, that's all the fans in this room. And also in the other restroom, the front bathroom. We have my sister's fan, which is the same one I have. And then we have this exhaust fan right here. We also have the exhaust fan and the heater right here. I have more fans coming soon, all the fans in the house. I'm still working on this video. Once I get everything done, all the fans filmed, then I'll put it up together in one video and then I'll upload it to YouTube. Thanks for watching the month fan man and out. This is one of the best box fans I've bought so far by Aerospeed. They made this one for Comfort Zone, and this is a really good one. It's well made. It's in, the, I wouldn't say absolute perfect balance, but it's in acceptable balance. It doesn't shake all over the place, and it's been doing really good since I've had it. It's all black. Of course, it's just a rebranded Aerospeed, but there you go. Got it running on low. It's been sitting here on this table ever since I've had it. So there you go. It's a pretty good fan. It's doing well. I'm running it on low right now. It is currently 84 degrees in the studio, even though I don't feel like that. I think that, uh, that thermometer is way off. I do have the exhaust fan running. So there you go. That's my take on this one. This is a pretty good one. It's pretty decent. This one actually replaces that weird Lasco um, so-called filter fan. So I'm glad I got this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out the fan man and out. Fans running in the studio today at 82 degrees in the studio. Thanks for watching. I'm about the fan man. More videos to come soon. And out. I'm running two fans at work. This one saw on the weak side. But yet it's still a decent fan. Fortunately enough, it's not that powerful, unfortunately. But it's an okay fan. It does have a 12,000 milliamp battery. Which probably would explain the reason why it's not so powerful on high speed. 
really unfortunate. Off. Low. Medium. Full power. Unfortunately, full power is not all that strong. But on the other one, I have similar to this. It has four speeds, and it's much stronger. Never heard of this brand before. There's that. There's the comfort zone running. I'm running the comfort zone on low. Got the blue blades in it. There you go. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed the short video of two fans running at work. Levant and out. More videos to come soon. Alright, there we go. The full moon. Haven't seen that in a while. There you go. God's full moon. Super bright. Thanks for watching the month, man, man. Or just the month and out. Alright, Jordan recommended that I uh, use this fan right here for the window. Because I was talking to him earlier. And he said that the best fan to use for the window out of your collection would probably be the Weather Shield or the Premium, and I don't have the Premium anymore. That fan was a piece of crap, and unfortunately, I parted out the blade, and that's about the only thing I kept from it, and the rest of that junk ran in the trash. And the only thing I have left of that, which is basically the same thing as the Power Plus and the Power and whatever else, and all the other kind of fans like this. It's the exact same fan, just come under different names that NASCAR will give it. It's the Weather Shield. I got it running right now at full power. It's in the window. I got the curtain covering up the most most of the window so that the air or the heat won't try to enter the room while the fan channels the air outside of the room. It sucks the heat out. So I don't know much how much help that's gonna really be. Sometimes this thermostat's not necessarily accurate. And then thermometer or thermostat, whatever you want to call it, it's not always accurate so this was recommended by jordan U, and we'll see how well it does he also has the same one as well he gave the other one to his grandfather he still has the black one that has the thermostat on it so that's pretty cool although that's what don't make that no more they don't make the b2735 no more and pretty soon that's what's going to stop making these they didn't already stopped making the premium now, I know they make the, I think they call it the Pro Power or something like that, or Power Plus or whatever they call it. So they're giving it all these different names. But that's going has got a major problem. I don't know why they're doing away with all the good fans. And they're getting real sloppy. So this one seems to be getting the job done. We'll see how well it does. I think, wow, it is pushing all the hot air off. The window doesn't open up completely wide enough for a 20 inch box fan. You only get about maybe 12 to 14 inches. So basically, half of it is throwing the air out. And this half right here is just blowing against the window. You know, unfortunately, it doesn't open up completely wide for a 20 inch. But it's better than nothing because it's been really stinking hot here lately. And finally, we're going to get some rain here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thank God. You know, we've been suffering with all this stinking heat. And it's just time for summer to end. It's time for us to get more rain clear to the end of this year and probably into next year. It's so long overdue for the rest of the United States, even in California. So thank you, Jordan, for recommending this fan. We'll see how well it does. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Lamont and out. You might not hear the wind streams. I'm telling you that up front. Some of these fans are not all that strong. So just try to enjoy the video. Here is my early 2010s, a Polar box fan. Unfortunately, a Polar don't, a Polar, if I can speak right, don't make this fan anymore. This particular model with the Royal Blue Blaze has been discontinued. So let's go ahead and dim it and here we go.
Like I said, you might not hear the windscreen, but just try to enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do apologize. The camera is far from it. All right, there you go. Low, medium, high, and the spin down time. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I'll do better next time. No rude comments, please. I'm in a good mood. The month and out. Okay, here is the Gazelle box fan. Very similar to that of the Apollo box fan I showed you. And this one runs exactly the same. Let's go ahead and run it. Low, medium, full power. Again, you might not hear the wind stream. My apologies to you. If you do hear the wind stream, then good. And the spin down time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Lamont and out. Here is my Polar version again. This time the black one. It's also battery operated but not rechargeable. It's USB right now. Let's run it. Low, medium, full power. Looks like you guys can hear the wind stream. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, love, and like. Lamont and out. Here is my four inch comfort zone high velocity fan with one speed on, or better known as full power. So let's go ahead and run it. And here we go. You might not be able to hear the wind stream. I do apologize. You have to try to understand it's a tiny fan that's not all that strong. Right, that's good enough because you guys couldn't hear the wind stream anyway. Thanks for watching. Lamont and out. Here is my 5 inch Polar. Let's go ahead and run it. Low power, medium power, full power. This one's quite strong. You should be able to feel the air. It's a very strong fan. Don't let that tiny size deceive you. Running it at full power. 
It does have three speeds. But for the sake of time in the video, I'm only gonna run this fan on for about. Right, that's it. I hope you heard the rinse stream. If not, my apologies to you. Thanks for watching Lamont and out. Here is my five inch Zuvis little desk fan. We got a weird Chinese brand name. And hope you guys see it a little bit better. Let's go ahead. For the sake of the video, high speed only. Should be able to hear the wind stream. If not, my apologies to you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, love, and like. Lamont and out. Here's my 2004-2005 Lakewood 4-inch high-velocity fan. Unfortunately, Lakewood's not around no more. So they can't make these anymore. But there's been many imitations of these fans ever since. And nowadays, they make them as a DC fan. Has a garbage motor, direct current. But anyways, let's go ahead and run it. This one has a shaded pole motor. I don't think you'll be able to hear the wind stream, but enjoy the video. It is a late but. Thanks for watching. Lamont and out. Ah, oh, this fan is so stinking weird. It's like a foldable fan, but it's so weird. The way it's made is cheaply made. But it does run, so let's go ahead and run it. I mean, it gets the job done. Hopefully you can feel the wind stream. Not my apologies. Kind of a weird fan, but there you go. I'm not surprised by that. Gets the job done. Second of video running it on high speed. The battery's not all that great. I bought this thing like years ago. Probably like in the early early 2019. Had it ever since. Unfortunately they don't make this no more. I got it when I did. It was a weird fan. 
I got some Chinese fans in their flesh that's weirder than that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'll try to do better next time. Lamont and out. Here's my touch fan where you just touch the power and the fan starts to spin up by Go Get Elect. I have a number of fans by them. So this one has Royal Blue Blades. It is currently still in production. They still do make this one today. You can buy it on Amazon under the name Go Get Elect and look for the Royal Blue color. Let's run it. Let's take a video running at full power. No, you will not be able to hear the wind stream. If you hear the wind stream, good. If not, I apologize. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. My apologies to you. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, love, and like. Lamont and out. Here's a neat little fan I bought back in 2016. All right, and yes, it is still in production today. You can still find it on Amazon today. I believe it's by Tony. That's T-O-N-N-Y or something. Let me see. Yes, T-O-N-N-Y. So just type in. I believe it says Tony Fan. Hold on a second. Yeah, just type in Tony 6-inch fan. It has a little squiggly stand on it. You'll see it. Or 6-inch black fan. You might want to do that. 6-inch black fan. And it should pop right up. It's still in production. No, it is not a DC fan. It has a shaded pole motor. So let's go ahead and run it. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, you won't be able to hear the wind stream. The camera's too far away. And the fan doesn't put out good air that much. Let's take a video, I'm running it on high speed. The airflow is being blocked by the ceiling fan. It's so hot in this studio. So I do apologize for that. Just try to enjoy the video. Does not oscillate. I bought this fan back in 2016. Yes, it still runs today. It's still in production. It's been down time. Or not. Okay, that was low speed. Now spin down time. Spin down time is decent. The bearings are decent. 
The airflow is mediocre. There you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come on and out. Running some fans today in the studio. The Weather Shield 3720 in the uh, the window here. Weather Shield Lasco fan at full power. The comfort zone running at medium power. Air purifier fan running at medium power. The so-called rebranded comfort zone high burst running at low power. And the Hampton Bay rebranded for Portrait Bay running at full power. That's all I'm using right now. No, there is no fan on the table currently. However, I'm probably going to end up putting the I Living back up there on the table. One of these over here. I was doing some recording last night, and I just didn't put the fan back on the table. That's why you don't see it. All right. So these are the ones that are currently running right now. And thanks for watching. Lamont and out. The light on the camera makes it look royal blue. But in person, it's purple on the fly trap. Now, if you recall correctly, I used to have one right here. They're like, hold on, what happened to the one right there? Well, now it's in the kitchen. Right there. There it is. In the kitchen on the wall because the other one we had broke. That's what happened to it. I had to put that one in there in the kitchen. So my replacement would be coming by next month. Now the one in the kitchen is still mine, but I just need a replacement for it in the room here. All right, that's it. Running some fans on a Saturday. It's 3720 weather shield. It's not raining yet. Comfort zone. These two little fans right here, the oscillator and the other blue one. Of course, my favorite the island living the oil ports, the Hampton Bay rebranded for Portage Bay, medium, the Martha Fan Man, and out. I've been running this exhaust stand all day today. The Lasco 3720 weather shield. But since it's not so hot anymore, and summer for the most part is over, I can now run it on low and just let it exhaust the warm air in the room on low. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. More videos to come soon. I'm having a blessed weekend. Hope you're doing the same. Lamont and out. Summer is over and it's fall time. We're getting a lot of rain and stuff. So right now I'm using the weather shield in the window. 3720. Running at low power. It's been running non-stop. I have not turned it off not once. These two little fellas are running at full power. One is oscillating, the other one's not full power. The Hampton Bay rebranded from Portraits Bay running at medium. And that's pretty much it. The only other thing that would be running in the studio is the air purifiers. That's running at medium. This one's running at full power. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching Lamont, the fan man, and out.
passion, of surprise, approval, or excited enthusiasm. Like we're all gonna go to Mexico. Come on and out. Two DC fans running. The clip version, death version, and the Oscar lady in death version. Although it's not Oscar lady. That one, that one, and I got this one. And no, it's not a clip, but it has the spider legs that kind of spread out. I'll run this one next time. One. Two, three. Not the fan man. 